At A2 Fabrication, we make and install attractive and highly functional railings. In order to secure the rails into a concrete walk or wall, we first need to drill holes for the posts. To do this, we use a core drill. This video will show how we set up and use the core drill. Ready to do some core drilling? You'll need to determine the appropriate hole size for the railing and then select the proper core bit. Prepare the core drill stand by installing the gasket to the base. Mount the core motor onto the stand. Attach the bit by twisting it on until it's tight. No need to muscle it, it will self-tighten as it works. Next, mark the concrete for the location of the core holes needed. Measure to ensure you are hitting the exact location that your rails will need. Then, use a waterproof marker or crayon and mark the post locations. You want the cord holes to be centered around the post, so it's best to mark where the outside of the bit should hit. Find the center of your outline post and place marks half the diameter of the bit on four sides. Now it's time to place the core drill system in position. The objective is to core the holes vertically, making them plumb. Make sure your bit remains within the marks you created. Attach the water supply hose to the connector of the drill. Using a quick connector from a hardware store is a great time saver. Attach the vacuum system to the stand and start the suction to secure the stand to the concrete. Make sure a shop vac is also powered and at the ready for the beginning of the drilling. Note the depth needed for the hole directly on the core bit with the marker so you'll know when to stop core drilling. Allow a minimum of one half inch deeper than needed in case the core doesn't break out completely. In some cases it may be beneficial to start the core hole dry and add water once an impression is made in the concrete. But generally the coring begins with a stream of water flowing to the bit. We typically set this up as a two person job with one person operating the core drill itself and lowering the bit slowly into the concrete while the other person controls the water flow and suctions the liquid with the shop vac. Use the water adjustment valve on the machine at the hose hookup. Use as little water as needed to create a chocolate milk colored slurry. The core drill operator will advance the core bit into the concrete by turning the handle with moderate force. The operator from the shop vac continues to adjust the water flow as needed to maintain the chocolate milk slurry from the hole. It may be necessary from time to time to back off on the coring and re-engage to keep the water flowing and to keep the bit from jamming in the hole. Once the proper depth is reached, with the help of the shop vac operator whose eye is on that depth line, back out the drill bit most of the way while the motor is running and just before the bit reaches the top of the hole, slow or stop the motor and retract the bit the rest of the way out. A spinning bit exiting the hole too quickly can result in the bit chipping the concrete edge of the hole. The concrete core is then removed by applying pressure against the edge of the core with a chisel or screwdriver. Use caution not to apply pressure to the outside of the hole or chipping can occur. Then simply lift the core out. Vacuum out the water in the core hole as well as wherever the stream of chocolate milk slurry may have run. That tainted water can potentially dry and stain any concrete area. Repeat these core drilling steps for each hole you need to make. Every so often, you may encounter an obstacle or location that will not allow the core drill stand to be used. In those instances, the operator will need to hand hold the core drill. It's best to start the hole with the bit angled slightly. As the bit cuts into the concrete, stand the bit vertically and then monitor the level bubble on top of the drill and proceed with caution. Communication between both operators is imperative. Once the holes are cored, you are ready to move on to the next step, setting and grouting the rails. Remember these important steps for core drilling to ensure a great finished product. A2 Fabrication, providing quality products, safe practices, and great teamwork. Happy core drilling!